A terrorist alert closes London's two major airports for several hours. And Israel cracks down on two militant settler groups. This is the CBS Evening News. And this is John Roberts reporting. Good evening. The two major airports that serve London, England were closed this afternoon because of a security alert. This followed yet another mortar attack on Heathrow Airport this morning. Adam Raphael reports while there's been little damage and no injuries, there has been one casualty, the peace of mind of the traveling public. IRA bomb threats closed down London's two main airports, Heathrow and Gatwick, tonight for several hours. Police reacted quickly to telephone warnings using recognized IRA code words. All flights in and out of both airports were suspended. Heathrow Airport had only been open for a few hours after a mortar attack earlier in the day. It was the third such attack in less than a week. As before, the mortars failed to explode and there were no casualties. They were fired from a field outside the airport perimeter. One shell hit the roof of a terminal used by international passengers. No damage, but inside there was chaos. This is an important announcement. Evacuation of the terminal is now taking place. Some flights were cancelled, one runway was closed, passengers passing through the world's busiest airport were held up for hours. Other airport buildings received bomb threats and workers were evacuated. After an extensive search, the homemade mortar launcher was discovered buried in a four-foot hole. We must keep our nerve and not give in to the despair that the terrorists would hope to generate. And together we must do all that we can to locate any further devices. Although security has been stepped up, there are growing calls for army patrols, as during the Gulf War. It's felt soldiers would at least reassure anxious travelers. I told myself I wouldn't come through Heathrow again last time. I broke my promise, but I will certainly retain it now. If the aim of the IRA was to achieve chaos and maximum disruption, it succeeded. Thousands of passengers have been diverted or delayed. The authorities are aware that the IRA could strike again at any time, and the security forces admit they are powerless to prevent it. Adam Rayfield, CBS News, London.